Good morning. Our gathering hymn today is number 424. 424, there is a longing. 424. Now gathering hymn number 424, There is a Longing. There is a longing in a heart My so Lord, Lord, for to you to reveal yourself to us. us. There, there is a longing in our hearts so for love we only find in you, our God. For justice, for freedom, for mercy, hear our prayer. In sorrow, in grief, be near, hear our prayer, O oh God. There is a longing in our hearts, O Lord, for you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. But dear brethren, in order to worthily celebrate this Mass, we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits 
and the desires of those who entreat you. Pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Gird yourselves and weep, O priests. Wail, O ministers of the altar. Come, spend the night in sackcloth, O ministers of my God. The house of your God is deprived of offering and libation. Proclaim a fast, call an assembly, gather the elders, all who dwell in the land. Into the house of the Lord, your God, and cry to the Lord. Alas, the day, for near is the day of the Lord, and it comes as ruin from the Almighty. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sound the alarm on my holy mountain. Let all who dwell in the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming. Yes, it is near, a day of darkness and of gloom, a day of clouds and somberness. Like dawn spreading over the mountains, a people numerous and mighty. Their like has not been from of old, nor will it be after them, even to the years of distant generations. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will judge the world with justice. The Lord will judge the world with justice. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart. I will declare all your wondrous deeds. I will be glad and exult in you. I will sing praise to your name, Most High. The Lord will judge the world with justice. You rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked. Their name you blotted out forever and ever. The nations are sunk in the pit they have made. In the snare they set, their foot is caught. The Lord will judge the world with justice. But the Lord sits enthroned forever. He has set up his throne for judgment. He judges the world with justice. He governs the peoples with equity. The Lord will judge the world with justice. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The prince of this world will now be cast out, and when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all to myself, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When Jesus had driven out a demon, some of the crowd said, by the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others to test him, ask him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that it is by Beelzebul, that I drive out demons, if I then drive out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your own people drive, out, drive them out? Therefore they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man fully armed guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when one stronger then he attacks and overcomes him. He takes away the armor on which he relied and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me, 
and whoever does not gather with me scatters. When an unclean spirit goes out of someone, it roams through arid regions, searching for the rest, but finding none, it says, I shall return to my home from which I came. But upon returning, it finds it swept clean and put in order. Then it goes and brings back seven other spirits, more wicked than itself, who move in and dwell there. And the last condition of that man is worse than the first. The Gospel of the Lord. More than anything else that we ask the Lord, if we ask him for healing, if we ask him to drive out the demons within us, if the loving Lord would grant everything that we ask of him, especially when it matters about our interior self, I know for sure with faith in our own very hearts, God will release us from all of this. But beyond all these things, aside from the healing and remedy that we pray for the loving Lord, we look deep into our own very selves, that vacuum or that emptiness that sometimes we are able not to see within us. Those vacuum of which we need to fill in in order that God would be able to take over within us. And so, my dear friends, today our gospel talks about Jesus driving out demons. When he drives out the demons in all the many aspects of the lives of the many people, there seems to be a freedom and a release from what has been made because of the deliverance. But it is our duty now on how are we going to fill in that void and that vacuum within us. This is the purpose of why the loving Lord continues to be made felt and be present within our own lives. He heals us. He delivers us from all the many evils in our own very lives. But we also have to discern and reflect and ask him later on to let him be filled within us. For the Lord himself suffices alone. Some of the crowd who have closed hearts on Jesus said he was driving out demons in connivance with Beelzebul. Jesus said that the exorcism he was doing meant rather than the power of God was at work among people. Let us open our eyes to God's love at work in our needs and within us. May the people of God stand united with the Lord and with one another so that they can resist the devil and life's tempests that threaten them. We pray. Lord, Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May we not sadden the Holy Spirit by attributing to the demon the good things the Lord has bestowed on us. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. Prayers. May we see the finger of God at work in people collaborating with each other for the common good and being united in both happy and sad events of life. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. May we not fall into doubt or pessimism but rather open our eyes to the small miracles that the Lord works for us daily, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. May we acknowledge and glorify the Holy Spirit who guides, comforts, and empowers us to overcome the evil one, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For the special intention of Vincente Belmonte, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For all the names and petitions written in our book of prayers, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. Silently, we present our petitions to the Lord.
we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. We also remember Joy Qualis. May he rest in peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, the Spirit of your Son continues the work of the Lord Jesus for our salvation. May we open our hearts to the Spirit who empowers us to do all what is good. Through Christ our Lord. Our offertory hymn is number 549, 549, Shepherd of Souls. Shepherd of souls, refresh and bless your chosen pilgrim flock with manna in the wilderness, with water from the rock. We would not live by bread alone, but by your word of grace, in strength of which we travel on to our abiding place. Be known to us in breaking bread, but do not then depart. Savior, abide with us and spread your table in our heart. Lord, sup with us and love divine, your body and your blood, the living bread, the heavenly wine, be our immortal Pray, my dear brethren, my sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, the Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and to the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just that you to our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. In him we have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and with the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with all the angels and archangels, with thrones and the dominions and all the hosts and the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glorious without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth of hope of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna 
You are indeed the Leo Lord and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and giving thanks and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more, giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Barry our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, for the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At a Savior's command and form a divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy be always free from sin, and safe from all distresses we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Lord Jesus Christ, he said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Pray. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. We have celebrated with also the word of God which we have heard, as well as the affection of this parish community as for the prayers of those whom you have to visit and return. Go now, we got peace and blessing.
Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by this sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Holy Mass has been offered. Let us now go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Our sending forth hymn is number 484, 484, Prayer of St. Francis. Make me a channel of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me bring your love. Where there is injury, your pardon, Lord. And where there's doubt, true faith in you. Make me a channel of your peace. Where there's despair in life, let me bring hope. Where there is darkness, only light. And where there's sadness, ever joy. Oh, Master, grant that I may never see. So much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love with all my soul. Make me a channel of your peace. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned, in giving of ourselves that we receive, and in dying that we're born to eternal life. 